Welcome back to the On The Money YouTube channel, powered by Ally Wealth. I'm Ryan Wheelers, your host. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have you tried to figure out what you, or are you trying to figure out what your retirement expenses will be or how much you're going to you know, spend each year of retirement? It can be a daunting task, folks. The number of people I sit down with and try to figure out a budget with is oftentimes uh, difficult to do because a lot of people don't live on a budget these days, and that's okay. They don't track their expenses. But when you get to retirement, it really is a good idea for the three years up until retirement to really track things and get a good sense of what you'll be spending in your golden years. And so some things you want to consider when you look at your uh, expenses are the have-to-have expenses. And the have-to-have expenses are, are the things you must have to enjoy any quality of life in retirement whatsoever. An example of have-to-have expenses are going to be housing. You've got to have a roof over your head, right? Uh, another one is you have to have transportation, a car, a truck, whatever you want to drive, but you've got to have reliable transportation to get you around. And I got news for you folks, a lot of people that retire find out they're way more busy than they were when they're working, right? Because by the way, every, every day becomes Saturday when you retire, which is pretty cool. Um, so you've got to have good transportation. Uh, utilities, right? You have to have you know uh, running water, you need power. Uh, most of us can't live without internet these days. Um, so you have to have utilities working as well. You know how to know how to fund those. Uh, another example is clothing. We have clothes in our back. So what kind of what do we spend on clothing, and what do we think we'll spend on clothing? Unfortunately, you can't wear the same uh, pair of sneakers through a thirty-year retirement. I promise you that. They'll wear out long before that, right? Uh, and lastly, we need food. All right, got to got got a food, and I, I like to eat well myself, and I'm sure you do too. Um, and lastly, that you've got to have health care and access to medicine. Uh, and health insurance is one of those things that can be a daunting task to price and look at. But for a married couple age 65, you're going to spend about $650 a year to $750 a year on health insurance. That's for a Medicare, uh, for a married couple, and a Medicare, a Medigap policy using a, a Plan G, about the middle average road uh, of cost there. So about $650, $650 a year. So kind of look at your expenses going back over the last three years that you spent on housing, that you spent on transportation, that you spent on utilities, that you spent on uh, uh, clothing and food, and kind of track those and average them out over that three-year period, and they'll give you a pretty good idea of what you're going to spend on those things in retirement. You could also look at increasing those things, the cost of those things, you know, at a rate of, say, 3% per year for inflation, uh, and, and that'll kind of give you an idea of what they will be in the future as well because inflation is going to impact your retirement plan and your income over time. Uh, we're, you know, we're running about 3 3 3.5% right now on retirement plans because we look at, at a higher inflation environment than we're in now, and we're willing to run that a little bit higher uh, now. Now, I don't see inflation lasting as high as it is today forever. Uh, the Fed's working hard to bring that, that, that number down, so I think that'll eventually happen, and we'll return to a more long-term normal average of about 3%. Uh, to that end, uh, one thing to think about is, you know, when you're doing these expense plannings is, you know, your car, if you, you know, if you got a 10-year-old car now going into retirement and you're going to live another 30 years, there's a chance that car's not going to last you an entire 30-year period, right? So you're going to consider buying another car. So factor in what a car might cost you in the future and have money set aside to do that. Another example is your house, right? Now, some of us go into retirement with our house paid for. Some of us don't, all right? That's, that's uh, so he, neither here nor there in this example. But you may consider that you want to sell your house in the future and either downsize, so your housing expense may go down, or you may want to sell your house and go somewhere else and move to an area of the country that a, has a lower cost of living for the same standard of living you want to live in retirement. Um, so those are your must-have expenses, but what about your want-to-have expenses? Because, Ryan, I didn't work the last 30 to 40 years at my job and not, not to go out and have fun and enjoy what I want to do in my golden years and cross off my bucket list. So... These are the want to have, have things. The want to have things are travel and vacations. Um, uh, another one is a second home in some cases, uh, an RV, a, a truck to pull it, or a, a, you know, a pusher RV or a boat. These are all things that people like to do to go out and enjoy uh, their golden years and cross off their bucket list. So if you're thinking about doing a lot of travel, one of the things I want you to do is start making a, a travel and vacation list. Let's start building a list and kind of a plan of the places that we want to go and see over the next 10 to 15 years. While we're in our go-go years, we can still get on an airplane and feel comfortable about it and our health's good and that sort of thing and enjoy it. All right, and so what you want to do is once you've got that list built, research airfare to those locations. What does it cost to travel there? What does it cost to fly there? Look at the cost of hotels. You also want to look at the cost of activities there and you want to determine the number of places you want to visit and you'll kind of get an idea of based on those numbers of what it's going to cost you. 
And then we can factor in, hey, my vacation budget's gonna have to be, to, to, to get this list done that I wanna do, it's gonna have to be you know, $7,500 a year, $15,000 a year, $20,000 a year, whatever it is, and we can plan accordingly that in your retirement income plan, in your investment plan. Uh, the other thing to think about is if you're, if you're wanting to buy a toy like an RV or a boat, um, you know, look at the cost of those things. Um, look at what they cost to acquire. Also look at uh, the cost of ownership, the tax liability and potential tax benefits in some cases of those things and have a good and also look at the cost of parks and the cost of fuel and, and maintenance and all that sort of stuff. And that'll give you a pretty good understanding of what those things will cost you in retirement. Now, one thing I'll talk about uh, briefly about RVs and boats and the toys. Folks, I'm a big fan of having those things bought and paid for before we go into retirement, not after. Keep that in mind when you're planning out your non-discretionary expenses, the things you must have, and your discretionary expenses, the things you want to have in your golden years. That'll be put you on a great path for a good budget. I'm Ryan Willis. Thanks so much for tuning into the channel. I hope you got a lot of value from today's video.